Welcome to the channel, today we will recap the fourth season of the Peaky Blinder series. If you didn't see the first three seasons recaps go into the description and watch that first. By order of the Peaky Blinders, like and subscribe. As Arthur, John, Michael and Polly prepare to hang for their crimes, Tommy's reprieve comes just in time to save their lives. A year later, the Peaky Blinders are scattered and estranged from one another. Ada returns from Boston for Christmas and visits each of them. John and Esme continue their relationship of sex and arguments. Arthur remains stifled by Linda's watchful eye. Michael uses cocaine to stay on top of the business. And Polly has fallen into an alcohol-fueled mania, taking prescribed tablets to quell her visions of spirits. Tommy advises Michael to dispose of Polly's medication and help her through her mental illness without them. Each of the blinders receives a letter from Luca Changretta, a black hand in New York City's Sicilian Mafia, marking him or her for death in retribution for the murder of Angel and Vincente. Tommy and Ada attempt to convince the others to meet on Boxing Day, believing that they will be safer if they come back together. However, when Tommy discovers and kills a Mafia agent among his staff, he realizes the assassination attempts are due to take place on Christmas Day and gets word to the rest of the gang. Michael goes to collect John and Esme, with whom Tommy could not get in contact. A cart pulls up, and John and Michael are riddled by a hail of bullets. Michael survives his injuries but John is killed. In the wake of his death, Tommy and the rest of the Peaky Blinders agree to put their differences aside while they deal with the Mafia threat. Tommy suggests contacting Aberama Gold, a killer for hire, something Polly is strongly against. Disobeying her orders, Tommy uses John's funeral to draw Gold out so that they can make a tentative deal. Enraged, Polly attempts to get Michael to flee with her to Australia but he refuses until she helps the gang through their current predicament, something she reluctantly agrees to do. Linda discovers that Ada is under investigation by the government because of her marriage to a communist but doesn't pass the message on. Gold agrees to fight for the Peaky Blinders if they take on his son, Bonnie. After seeing him knock out a man much larger than he, Tommy and Arthur induct him into the Peaky Blinders. Jesse rallies Tommy's workforce and convinces the entire factory to strike. Changreta visits Tommy and sets several bullets on the table, stating that each is for a member of the Peaky Blinders. He plans to keep Tommy alive until the rest are dead but insists that their vendetta be an honorable one, with Tommy agreeing not to involve the police or the death of children or civilians. The Italians launch another attack on the Peaky Blinders. Tommy realizes that the Blinders need to evolve if they are to survive, but some of the gang are reluctant to part with tradition. As the strike takes hold at the Lanchester factory, Arthur is almost killed at the factory by Luca's men. Tommy pays a personal visit to Jesse Eden to help find out how this ambush took place, but he is outmaneuvered when she reveals something she knows about his past. Later, it is revealed that Polly and Luca have a previous connection from the past, and they meet in a public place to discuss business. Polly claims that she will give Thomas to Luca if she will spare the other members of the Shelby family. Arthur goes to the house of the family whose son he killed in a boxing match, expecting it to be an ambush by the Italian Mafia. Instead, it is a decoy, and their real target is Michael, still convalescing in the hospital. Luca spares Michael, but repeats that he is expecting that Polly keeps her end of the agreement they made. Later, Luca is almost murdered by Aberama Gold at an ambush. Meanwhile, May Carlton comes to Small Heath to visit Tommy to have him sign documents for his horse. Tommy later sets up a fight for Aberama Gold's son. After visiting Michael in the hospital, Tommy drives away, only to be followed by Luca and his gang. Thomas Shelby leads Luca's gang to Artillery Square. Thomas has prepared for the battle ahead of time, thanks to Polly's heads up. He kills three of Luca's gang members before coming face to face with Luca. However, the police arrive and break up the fight. Lizzie Stark tells Thomas that she is pregnant with his child. After hiding Michael away from Luca's gang, Polly shares an intimate moment with Aberama Gold. Meanwhile, an army colonel has questions for Ada about her past as a communist. Jesse Eden and Thomas have an intimate dinner, as Thomas looks to find out Jesse's communist contacts. Sensing an opportunity to capitalize on his situation, Luca Changretta makes his way to London to present a plan to Alfie Solomons on how to kill the Shelbys at the upcoming boxing match. As the stage is set for the boxing match between Bonnie Gold and Goliath, Tommy gets a visit from Alfie. The Peaky Blinder girls meet to discuss Lizzie's pregnancy. Tommy watches the match ringside with Arthur who is suspicious of Goliath's seconds. When one of the seconds leaves the arena, Arthur follows and attacks him, and appears to be mortally wounded in the fight that ensues. At Arthur's funeral, the widow Changretta approaches with a white flag. Later at the family home, she reveals the vendetta will be over if Tommy signs over all his assets to Luca Changretta. 
Luca and his men meet with the remaining Peaky Blinders in Tommy's basement distillery for Tommy to sign over his possessions. Tommy reveals to Luca that he has sent Michael to America to negotiate with other American mafiosi and turn Luca's men against him, despite treating him with contempt for not telling him he was about to be killed. Realizing he has been outmaneuvered, Luca attacks Tommy, and a fight ensues. As Tommy is getting the upper hand, Arthur enters the distillery and shoots Luca. It is revealed that Tommy had Arthur fake his death to lure Luca into the trap. The Peaky Blinders celebrate the end of the vendetta at Tommy's countryside estate, and it is announced that Tommy will take a holiday from the business. Tommy confronts Alfie for his betrayal, who reveals he did so knowing Tommy would track him down and kill him, and that he has cancer. Tommy then shoots Alfie and proceeds to take his holiday. However, as the boredom from fishing and golf sets in, Tommy's post-traumatic stress comes back, and he returns to Small Heath. Tommy returns to Shelby Company, Limited, and contacts Jesse to let her know he wants to help her and thus acquires the name of her Communist Party contacts. He takes this information to the Crown to secure an endorsement for his campaign for Member of Parliament, an election which Tommy wins. By order of the Peaky Blinders, like, subscribe, and check out this other clips. Thank you for watching and see you soon.